Hi, I'm Ian Anderson, an Apple Certified Trainer, and in this video we're going to look at the Track Layer and Track Text plugins, part of Cormelt's Track X. These plugins allow you to replace a tracked area within a shot, or add text that moves in perspective with a tracked area. The Track X plugin we'll use first is called Track Layer. To begin the tracking process, look in the Generators pane in the new C2 Track X category and locate Track Layer. Drag and drop this generator, connecting it to the clip you want to track and trimming if needed. Make sure the generator is selected by option clicking on it and then move to a point in the clip where the entire shape you want to track is visible, in this case the first frame of the clip. If you need to, you can move this toolbar out of the way. Zoom in if needed to get a good clear shot of the shape you want to track. Then click on the second shape in the Track X toolbar, the Polygon Shape tool. Draw a polygon over the area you want to track. Here, I'll click on the corners of the ad that I want to replace. Make sure the object is a single plane that will stay together and visible throughout the shot. Since the object is visible at the start of the shot, I'll track forward. Now that the track is complete, you need to replace the tracked area by clicking on 2, Surface. Click on the Insert Layer Image Well, then select a source video from one of your events. Your video will now fill the tracked area, which moves in perspective by default. Adjust the Scale X and Y and Position X and Y sliders in the Inspector to squish and reframe the source video within the tracked shape. You can also perform more complex operations by moving the green corner handles to reposition the surface on the perspective track even offsetting it to a nearby position if required, so you don't have to get the track exactly right first time. Here's another clip, which starts with a sign that's out of shot. Begin as before, adding the track layer generator and trimming it to fit. Then, move to a time in the clip when the shape is completely visible. Press M to add a marker at the current position Use one of the tools to draw along the edges of the shape. Then press the Track Backwards button. If the object leaves the frame completely, stop and trim the generator to cover only the time when the object is in frame. Press Ctrl Apostrophe to jump to the marker you left earlier, then Track Forward. Again, stop if the object leaves the frame completely, otherwise wait for the track to complete. Manual keyframing is also possible, and we'll discuss it in a future tutorial. Now that the track is complete, the process is as before. Click on To Surface, choose a clip using the image well, then adjust the sliders or the green corner handles as required. With Track Layer, it's also possible to perform more complex masking operations as part of the tracking process. By clicking on 3 Mask, you can limit how much of that replacement clip is shown. If I reduce the generator's opacity, you can see that these lampposts should be visible. Choose one of the Shape tools, here I've chosen the Bezier tool, and isolate the object. Once the path is complete, you can invert the mask if necessary using the checkbox in the inspector and readjust the mask's points to tweak its curves. Returning the generator to 100% shows the effect complete. It's also possible to attach text to an object moving in perspective through a shot. Using the track text generator, Track an object just as you would with Track Layer, marking an area in shot, adding a marker, tracking backwards, returning to the marker, then tracking forwards. 
When you move to step two, Surface, press the Open Text Editor button, then add some text, setting font, color, and shadow options as you want. Position the text by dragging, by moving the green corner handles, or by adjusting the scale and position sliders in the inspector. As with the simple tracker, you should avoid applying transitions to these generators. To fade one up or down, press Ctrl V to show the generator's video properties, then click the small button next to opacity. You can use the built-in fade handles at each end of the clip to fade it up or down if required. Track X's track layer and track text allow you to replace or add text to any part of a moving image in lockdown or handheld shots. They're perfect for screen replacement and for creative titling. Track X also includes the Simple Tracker plugin, which makes adding a tracked moving title easy. Download the free trial today from cormelt.com. Thanks for watching.